my pack for today is already like bloody heavy like super not wanting to carry it because it's heavy but it also has lots of like sharp jabby things that are poking me in the back so i need to add more i'm going to put this clipboard in the back and hopefully that will flatten out where all my tripods are trying to stab me in the back okay so just so you guys know if you need your back straight on a backpack thing clipboard so much better all right we are off forgot my phone i have to come back uh, luckily i didn't get too far but now where the hell is that phone i've got a bus to catch it was in my back it, it was in my bag okay take two we are headed to whatcom falls park today and this was a decision i made about five minutes ago it does look lovely it, it looks amazing in all honesty but because of the time of the season i don't actually think we're going to see anything that amazing i think that this would have been really pretty at spring i think there would have been really big decent falls in spring and we've gone to a couple places where there should be falls and there's been like no water and it's because it's late summer beginning of autumn all the snow caps and all the water that would filter down have already done their melting for the season so it's just another reminder planning is important however there wasn't much planning or time considering planning when I started this so we're just going to make it work when I go to Scotland um, there's there's really no planning that can be done. I know I'm gonna be on a boat and they're gonna stop at places and Where they stop is contingent on how the weather goes how far we get the wind, etc, etc How much time we get there what we can do in a day. So This is good practice for on the fly and knowing how to get the good shots when you come across them I also think I'm doing really good on my writing I did remember to write down to get an establishing shot this morning while I was thinking about what I was gonna do for the day and writing down my thoughts, journaling, note-taking, whatever you wanna call them. And no, it's not the most introspective journaling there is, but writing it down, reminding myself in the morning, just putting pen to paper, I think is gonna help me retain it at the very least. We're gonna be taking three buses. It should take an hour and a half to get there. I brought all the tripods, my Sony ZV-1F, two battery packs, my fake GoPro, the case, the waterproof case, just in case I can get an up close and personal water shot, a battery pack for that. And then I also have this like super clamp mounty thing, just in case I wanna get some weird angles at a, a stabilized shot. Oh, that was another thing I wrote down this morning was try to work on your stabilization. See, writing it down, it helps. I will say that editing so far has been helping me train my eye a little bit better to being like, oh girl, if you had just moved over a little bit here, you would have gotten a better shot. Uh, don't spend so much time trying to get into the shot, get into it, spend some time in it, and then move around there. Take your time a little bit more, play with different speeds. No one is making me go any faster than I need to at this time. I don't need to be catching up with anyone. So I've got plenty of time to work that out. And another thing I learned, Instagram has a 1 to 1 ratio and YouTube Shorts has a 9 to 16 ratio. So I have to remember that framing in mind if I want to convert those. Also, Instagram does not do 4K uploads and YouTube does, but they recommend HD and Instagram also does HD. So for my Shorts or Reels, HD uploads. If I do good framing, if I do good framings, the, the one to one ratios and the nine to 16 ratios should convert from when I'm editing it for these videos to show you how I'm seeing it, if I'm getting the framing right. So we will see. Oh, also YouTube shorts, strict one minute, only one minute, 60 seconds tops is all you get. Whereas reels, you get a little bit more time. So I thought, oh, okay, I can do a minute and a half, right? And it'll still work within my goals and I can work on shorter and shortening that down. Nope, hard and fast rule. I need to make these little things only a minute long, which that's gonna help me also with the pacing because when I had to convert it from the minute and a half to a minute, Oh, it screwed it up so bad. It was very hard to uh, to continue. Oh, it's that guy. That guy um, that stared at me that one time. But it's going to be really hard for me to switch it from a minute and a half to a minute and keep the right storyline that I'm telling. So I need to work on just making sure it's a minute. Sorry. I, he did it to me again. 
dickhead. Anyway, all right, so three bus rides and I'll see you guys there. Okay, so I am on the trail to get to Whatcom Falls Park. I did get a little confused because there were no like clear signage, but I did satellite maps and then I asked some people and they said yes. So we are on the right way. I think it's like a quarter of a mile to get there. I didn't do an establishing shot because it, it's just a trail with trees around it at this point, but it looks promising. It looks promising. There's like the ocean, there's the ocean this way and I do see on the satellite forced up ahead. So hopefully I can see when the establishing shot should be and get it. <laughs> I don't know. I, I was very confused out here. Buses I've never been on before. And I got on the wrong bus at one point. I'm, I'm very bad at directions. I, I, I don't know how I got around so well in Portland. It's just I knew the city well. And so therefore I was able to get around. Oh, bird right there. Okay. I don't want to disturb the bird. Cool, I did bring bird seed because I wanted to try something with my, my fake GoPro. So now I know it's okay to feed the birds bird seed. I mean, I assumed so, but just, just since I'm seeing it already, it's confirmation. It does seem like this is gonna be a very long walk to get to the destination. It said walk four minutes. I don't know if I'm at the destination or if I'm going to the destination. So I'm gonna say it won't hurt anything to start getting establishing shots and just start taking pictures because I honestly don't know if I am in the area that, it doesn't look anything like the pictures though, but just in case. I, I saw a trail leading that way, but it's not marked. So also should have brought a tank top. It is bloody humid in these woods. Okay, we're gonna start taking establishing shots somehow. That's trail. Do I go down this trail? Or right back here. This is an end of trail. Do I do I go down this trail? I mean I guess it couldn't hurt. I guess I can do whatever the hell I want, huh? Whatcom's Fall Park. I am here. Whatcom Falls Park. See detailed map. Where's the detailed map? Detailed map. I don't know what any of this means. I, I'm over here and it's over there. So some miles maybe? Does it say what trail I need to take? Railroad trail, railroad trail. What trail gets to here? Stairs, Whatcom Creek Trail. Nothing, nothing says stairs. From the map it says stairs and uh, I don't see anything that says stairs. So your guess is as good as mine. So I'm gonna say all those shots that I got um, were not my establishing shots, but it can be like a journey to the spot. Little intro thing maybe. <laughs> At least I got to play around with it a bit. Look guys, look, stairs. Okay, so normally these cool roots, I would be shooting it from my perspective. One of the main rules is get down low. Everybody can kind of see everything the same way from an eyeline perspective. So to keep it visually entertaining, you wanna give your viewers different perspectives that they normally wouldn't see. Like I've never seen this before, but it's a whole new perspective. Like I've seen roots before, right? So different perspective, <laughs> long way of explaining that.
So I did want to work on some cool transitions, but I think maybe, so I'm a little out of breath and I'm not even at the spot yet, but I'm thinking maybe I just want to be able to get some cool shots with some movement first, like maybe work on movement first and then maybe later in the month we can start doing transitions. Gotta walk before you can run and ride before you can fly, I don't know. You guys can see it there's like a little walkway and then there's a little stream with rocks that I kind of want to get but I also don't want to mess around on wet rocks <laughs> so I think it's all about who wants to do what this is such a cool little area I'll give you guys a quick scan through I don't think I'm that adventurous yet Okay, so I do think that this is gonna be the last shot of it all. Um, after this, it's stream and I need to get home. I need to start thinking about getting home. I've been out here for a few hours, so even though I have all the time in the world, I kinda don't. I'm gonna get this last shot and instead of showing it to you guys, I'm gonna show you the end result, which will be exactly one minute. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. If only I could finish something straight through to the end